What's up guys, welcome back to the vlog. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to replace your cowl, windshield cowl. Uh, it's probably the most common on these cars to crack and deteriorate early on just from UV rays mainly and harsh winters if you live up north. So this is the current status of mine. As you can see, it is just falling apart all throughout. Let me zoom in a little bit focus. So yeah, it's just cracking and chipping off all the way down. So yeah, this is just gone. Yep. <laughs> so it's about time to replace this. So shout out to FCP Euro for getting this package to me very quickly. Lifetime guarantee. So before I install this, I'm gonna go ahead and spray it down with some 303. So this will protect it from UV rays. It helps it prevent from fading and cracking. It'll also repel dust. So let's go ahead and lather it up and then dry it off with a clean microfiber. So as you can see the 303 really makes it shine. And now it is fully protected from UV rays. So first we're going to remove these two plastic pieces on each side. They're just held in by these rubber grommets and some of these 10 millimeter locking bolts. So for example, when the arrows are lined up, it's locked. And if you turn in a quarter turn, it'll be unlocked and you can pull it up. Now we want to remove the windshield wipers. So just remove the rubber cap, which reveals the 16 millimeter bolt. And this is probably the hardest part about this job because the windshield wiper is pretty much locked on the bottom part of the thread. So as you'll see, we we're putting on some lubrication just in the hopes that it'll make it easier to take off the windshield wiper. So there is a technique to get these windshield wipers off, which I learned from Thick F30. Shout out to him. So it's not the correct way, like he says, but you can stick a 15 millimeter wrench uh, under the windshield wiper and basically hammer the bolt on top to knock the windshield wiper off the thread so it'll be easier to take them off. So you can see on the left side that's where you put the wrench but the driver's side windshield wiper already knocked loose so it helps if you push the spring down to make it kind of level, which makes it easier to take off. So here is the hammer and wrench technique. Pretty much just sending vibrations to make it loose. And at the same time, using the wrench to apply some upward pressure as well. Then we can take the bolt off and fidget with the windshield wiper so we can manhandle it off there. There we go. Now we're going to use a 5mm Allen key 
and the same arrow concept you're just giving them a quarter turn to unlock them So on each side here, these are the last pins that are holding in the windshield cow. So you can remove this weather stripping. I found it was a little easier. Gives you more room to get a trim tool in there. So there's just push pins. You pull up. And once you peel this back, it'll make it a lot easier to fit a trim tool in there and pry up the pin. Once you do this on each side, you'll be ready to remove the cowl. So now carefully make sure it's detached from all other trims. That's basically what I'm doing here. And so when you're putting the new one in, you definitely want to make sure that it goes under all the trim. One thing the new windshield cow doesn't come with are these little rubber grommets. So you want to take these. I actually sprayed some 303 on them just to make them look like new again, which worked really well by the way. And then so I'll replace these into the new one. And we'll be good to go. Looking brand new, thanks to the 303. Also, put a link in the description so you can buy some 303 for yourself. And I guess my camera wasn't recording when I did this part, but I sprayed some CarPro Eraser on a microfiber and wiped down the surface where the old cowl was. So we clean up the windshield and have a nice new surface for the new cowl. So now that we have the windshield cowl all tucked under the trim and in the correct position, we can go ahead and put our two pins back on each side and replace the weather strips. That one-handed pin placement though, and we got it. Now we're gonna fasten the cowl down to the windshield using your five millimeter Allen. I'm turning these a quarter turn so that the arrows line up. Also, it's good to push down here on the cowl before you tighten them, just to make sure you get a flush fitment. I'll just place the windshield wipers back on. The short one goes on the passenger side and the longer windshield wiper goes on the driver's side. So you just wanna make sure they look lined up correctly before you go ahead and bolt them down. No torque spec needed here, just get them nice and tight. Finally, we'll replace our two plastic pieces on each side of the motor. And while I was at it, I went ahead and sprayed them down with 303 as well. 
Now you can see it's super clean now. Looking brand new. So much better now. Car feels a lot cleaner. I don't have to cringe every time I see it. So guys, that is how you replace your windshield cowl on your BMW F30. I hope this video was helpful for you. Please remember to hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up button. Stay tuned for more mods as we get closer to the BMW Invasion event. I'm gonna try to dial in my car as much as possible, just like the overall aesthetic of the vehicle. It is hot as heck out here. I'm gonna go jump in the pool. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.